What's going on guys, your boy K-Star here, back again with another action figure unboxing review. Today, we're finally going back to the general subject with a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Super Action Statue by Medicos figure. We're going for part five, Trish Una, one of my favorite characters from part five. One of my favorite female characters, especially from part five. She's awesome, really cool. Nice change up from the usual guys we get. So yeah, today's random item of the day is just a packet of random instant noodles from Coca, curry flavored. So yep, that's our random item of the day for no reason. And let's get straight into it. So as always, we start with the boring stuff, the box. So for Trish, we get a nice pink slash orangey colored fade in the box with the Harley Quinn pattern. So you get Trish on the side and the window display there, as you can see. Jojo's, Jojo's Bizarre Adventures part five there at the bottom. Side of the box, you get some nice, lovely art of Trish, our gal, looking epic there with some nice blue sparkly diamond banner around her you get the back of the box with trish una the name super action statue some poses we can get trish into there looking absolutely epic the medico seal of improvement sticker as we like to see and then the heads that she comes with and other accessories as always as normal you've got the other side another nice bit of art for Trish, same as the previous side. You got the bottom with some Japanese shebang, terms and conditions, etc. as always. And then you got the top of the box with Jojo, Super Action Statue Trishuna, as always. So there's the box, we'll get straight into the review. So hopefully, without any issues, we can crack open the bottom, as we always do. So, slide her out, as so the box over there and then we have our gal looking awesome through the window display so let's carefully crack open the clamshell hopefully without causing any damage at the disco and again there's another look at Trish as all the accessories fall out you just have to bear with me one second so sorry about that guys wouldn't be a Jojo's video without a technical issue. So we're back as normal. So we'll get Trish out. And there's our girl looking absolutely epic. Love the paint and detail on this one. It's very rare we get a female Jojo's Bizarre Adventure figure, but nonetheless looking absolutely lovely. The colors on her skin are awesome contrasted with the tone and then the lovely hot pink style on the lipstick and the hair so yep absolutely amazing as you can see eyes I think she's got some nice crystal green eyes there if we look closely absolutely lovely always painted amazingly with these figures you got the nice choker style going down with nice different patterns just like the show. The sports bra goes around the nice black. The skin tone goes all the way around. I must have been lucky on this one because there doesn't appear to be that many blemishes. The only problem I can see here is there's quite a bad blemish there on the hand. You can see where the paint is quite rough there maybe they just forgot to mold that properly and didn't do some quality control so that's a massive shame especially when you're playing big money for these figures but with a bit of sanding carefully i might be able to sort that out and then a coat of normal paint tone shouldn't be too bad same again nothing wrong with the rest down i've kept the plastic on as you know me 
but you've got that nice plus minus times division pattern she's got on her shawl on a skirt and absolutely epic lovely colors the yellow and the pink together amazing leg tone again same skin tone as we know another slight blemish there on the paintwork probably because this is an older figure and the fact that they don't do many female action statues probably shows that you get more blemishes but you can't always ask for everything most of these jojo's figures have been perfect runs without trouble so sometimes you have to have a problem and then finally you get a nice stylish italian leg boots high heels lovely brown painted lovely with the the sole and there's a nice little heel so pretty cool design unfortunate about the defects very disappointing but as i said sometimes you have to have an issue because we can't always have it perfect so yep we'll get into some articulation momentarily for trish so in terms of articulation for our very 80s hip looking pop star girl trish we have at the head unfortunately i can't seem to because it's so new you do have a forward and backwards at the head and you can look up and down and left and right because it's so new i can't seem to get it moving as much as i want to so what i'll have to do at a later date is get a light hair dryer blow it on as we know or dip her in some hot water but i'm not going to do that now because she's brand new and i don't want to ruin the lovely perfect paint sculpt on her face but that's it so you can get the basic Super action statue articulation at the head, as we always get. Just take some loosening up because she's smaller framed and all the joints are extremely tight. So yeah, you also get a neck ball joint that's very thin, so be careful. You can also move that forward and backwards for the extra range. So you can have a looking up or looking down on our enemies, slightly off to the side, looking very hip. For the arms, you can go to about just under 90, you can go further depending on where you point it because she's very small. As I said before, the joints are extremely tiny on her, so be very careful. You can swivel all the way around with the arms also, all the way up to do some yoga. If that's your thing, whatever floats your boat. You also get a swivel, swivel at the elbow. And if you're very careful, you can also bend this joint i'm trying this on so you can bend this joint to 45 or 90 if you really want to but i'd be very careful as i said so you can do nice action pop star poses with trish you can also swivel the hands i think all the way around but like look if you look the ball joints are a lot different so if you want to do anything with this figure, they've clearly had to design it extremely different to the others because the others are usually men and they've got different builds and she's a lot smaller, more dainty and they've had to make it slightly different. So I'd be extremely careful whatever you do with this gal, especially because of the price she is. We do get a waist swivel, really good and chest swivel. So you can do a stomach crunch or a back all the way and you can twist the left and right or all the way around. So that is a, a good point of articulation, which is you've always got to have a positive. So that's not too shabby there. The legs, she has got forward and backwards at the leg. You can move it, but it's very limited because of the shawl slash skirt she's got here. So if you do move the shawl out the way, you can get side to side and backwards and forwards because of the way the, the sculpt is, how she, what she wears in the, the show. You get very limited range at the legs. So for me, that's fine because I just pose my figures and enjoy them in the display. But for, for you guys and gals that enjoy a bit of articulation, you don't get that much. At the bottom of the leg though, you do get a nice forward and back pop star swivel. So you can have her in nice poses however you want. 
that's quite good. You do get a ankle swivel left and right if you're careful, but as I said, very, very delicate. You get a tilt left and right, backwards and forwards. And at the stylish high heels she's got, you get a toe pivot as normal. So quite limited for our girl Trish. You get the basic stuff, but be very careful with her because she just feels like she's going to break in my hands. So yeah, it's Medicos Super Action Statue Trish Una. Looking really sharp. Shame about the small defects and the limited range with articulation, but for me, paint and sculpt are the most important thing. And all in all, aside from the few blemishes on her skin, the rest makes up for it because she's a very cool girl. She's also got a superpower. Her power is elasticating anything, but making it super strong and malleable. So she can touch any, so she can touch this, this brick wall, basically, like this. And she could make that really bendy. So I'll push that and it'll be able to bend in. So you can use, you can make anything into a shield or bounce, pliable. So she's really good at defense and utility. But unfortunately, we're not made of money. So I haven't managed to grab the stand on this one, but I thought I'd grab the girl to add to the collection with the other lads from the gang of Jojo's Bizarre Adventures Part 5. So finally, we shall leave Trish there, looking like she's got a bit of attitude. And we'll go into accessories, take two. So for Trish, as you saw before, all the hands fell out. But you get a variety of hands to do poses. You get the two fish she comes with. You get the grabbing out hands that you see on her right now. You get like a, a hand out pose. You get two of those. You get a, a, a gun gripping hand. And you get another pose hand. And then you get an accessory for Jorno. Unfortunately, it's for the pink Jorno. It's a brooch where he turns his brooch into a spare hand, where one of the team loses the hand in the show. So you get that. Unfortunately, we haven't got the pink Jorno, but we've got the other Jorno, so it's an extra. And then you get Trish's gun, because obviously she's the boss's daughter. So Diablo, the boss from part five, hence the pink hair. And finally, we get a screaming face for Trish, which looks pretty cool compared to the others. Nice pink mullet, awesome hairstyle, very 80s, Cindy Lauper, and the screaming face painted brilliantly. And if you're changing that out, I'd ensure on this girl to use some hot water, because it will definitely snap. If you lift the box up, as always with JoJo's figures, you get the instruction manual, which I highly recommend using on this one. I highly recommend using on this one, because it's very delicate. And you get your display base, which your boy K Star never uses, as you know, except in crazy needable situations. So that's that. And I think that's everything. So that's our super action statue, Trish Una from Medicos. I'd say in terms of looks, she's probably a a 9 out of 10 in terms of the sculpt and the colours for the figure. But in terms of articulation and posability, I'd only give her about a 5 because there's just not much there you can do. But regardless, for what they've done with her, for giving, her, giving us... A representation of her for our collection we can't argue so you can grab her off ebay amazon japan hobby stores places like that but beware because i kind of run into a bit of trouble with this one and the seller kind of i wouldn't say scammed but i did get i got dealt a bit of a dirty hand so you win some you lose some but i wanted her in the collection so i just odin dealt with it and life goes on so i usually get snag good deals off ebay but this one was a slightly more pricey one for what I'd want to pay. But we live and learn, and life goes on. So yeah, last thing I'll do for you if you want, is I'll just do a little comparison with another figure. So 
So there we have Medicos Trish Una next to One Punch Man Genos. Looking really sharp. So they're roughly the same height. You've got Trish that comes just under five inches tall. My camera is really fuzzy. I don't like that. See if we can do something about that one. So there's your gal Trish next to Genos. And she actually looks taller than him, but that's just the way he's posed. He's kind of looking down. But yeah, and the high heeled boots. So I feel sorry, sorry for Genos right now. Because your girl's actually bigger than him. So yeah, there's the size comparison. Not too shabby. So you got Trish and Genos doing a little standoff there. And Trish looking absolutely awesome with the gun accessory and different hands. And Genos firing appropriately back. So that's not too bad. So we may as well wrap it up, guys, I think. And that's all for this one, I suppose, guys. So thanks very much for watching. Sorry it was a bit of a shambles, as usual. Uh, wasn't expecting this one in. But we're out here, we did what we could. And yeah. So if you want Trish, you're a fan of Part 5, you're a fan of the character, add it to the collection. If you're not a fan, you're not going to be adding her because you've just got a random gangster girl with pink hair, pop star in your collection. But if that's your thing, then you can also grab her off the sites I told you about. And that's all for this one. Thanks for your time as always. Stay safe in these crazy lockdown times. Keep collecting cool things to keep your mind occupied and refreshed. For your boredom, stay safe and keep collecting.